Hey, hello there. This is going to be an update on the 4.3 tools. Um, and uh, let's dive in. We can see here, this is a, an old project, which uh, was an artificial brain that I made. And you can get it now for a cheap price on Blender Market, just a few dollars. And then you can pull this file apart. As you can see, it's like a circuit board brain go into or if I lay this back you can see that from here it starts to create all these elements and then become from a normal brain a circuit board brain uh, kind of a wink to artificial intelligence and here you can see all the circuits and the circuits also move on their own Actually fairly simple, yeah this looks a bit complex but it's just a Voronoi texture here set to F1 Euclidean um, or it's this one I think F2 Manhattan and an F1 uh, Chepchev combined which makes this final uh, pattern. Then you get all these intricate details. Of course, it's not like a real circuit board because these are loops and it's real circuit board lines. They all lead somewhere. I'm also working on uh, a geometry node which does that with the geometry. So all the lines really lead somewhere. Uh, but this is just a nice material that you can use if you want to fake a kind of circuit board style. Uh, here you can see all the vertices and these golden lines in between I'm gonna try also to improve this visual uh, or to make a kind of different uh, style but this one you can get on blender market now in the 4.3 version uh, the next thing is the cogs I also made now a, a rotating one so you can set the angle here, the twist, you have the twist resolution. If I go into the wireframe mode, the twist resolution is the amount of edge loops that it has horizontally. And here you can set the twist angle. So of course this one is in the minus 20 because it's half as high. So if you start playing it, it will intersect. This one is half the angle and then in the negative. Because if I do it in the positive, you can see that they no longer interlock. So this one you need to do negative or the other one you need to do negative. So in the cogs tool, there's now also a way to make these twisted cogs. And you can make all kinds of structures with them. This is an animation that comes with it. It's just uh, to showcase how it works. You can just make different layers. In the previous tutorial, you saw how you can use it to build all these sequences uh, or a cogs line that they all interlock. And it's very easy and quickly to do because it adjusts the speed and the amount of teeth automatically. So that's now also in the 4.1 version the twisted cogs and next I also updated the matrix code this one is very simple it's just a, um, a matrix code that is in 3d space so you can see here all the letters uh, it's just lines and they change by icon and in the material they move down go into the camera let's go into the layout here you can see uh, all the geometry and here you can see the colors if I go into a front perspective mode you see that all these elements are falling or the material is and here you can also set the color if you want different colors like the uh, begin color and also you have the end color if you want to make it more to red this looks really bloody, but you have full control here. 
So these are now the 4.3 tools. I'm continuing to work on the nuts and bolts tool. And uh, also the stack generator is going to have an update. And you will see that soon. So I hope this is useful and I see you in the next one. Okay, bye.